BTK confession audio. Yeah, this is hot. <laughs> All right. I mean, really sick. <laughs> See, we do, we do it different. I mean, bad. <laughs> we do it different on this show, though. Let's uh, let's start with the Jaws theme. You want? I just want to hear what he sounds like, maybe just a little bit without anything. And then we'll go into our. And then here, because it's so different. It's so creepy, like this. All right. Proceeded to tie the kids up, and they started crying and got real upset. So I said, oh, this is not going to work. So we moved them to the bathroom. She helped me, and then I tied the door shut. We put some toys and uh, blankets and odds and ends in there for the kids. Nice. See, at this point, I'm like, oh, God, thank God. He has a soul. He has a heart. This this one particular time, he said, ah, this ain't going to work. I can't do this. Right. Blankets that's, and toys. That's what I was feeling when I was watching this. Like, okay, this is an example of one that didn't... He decided, you know what, this is way too crazy. Sounds like a yeah. police officer explaining like, what happened. You know, i got to move on to another victim, but no, yeah, I was wrong. Kids, make them as comfortable as they could. Tied, the, uh, we, uh, tied one of the bathroom doors shut so they couldn't open it, and we shoved. she went back and helped me shove the bed up against the other bathroom door. And then I proceeded to uh, tie her up. Uh, she got sick, threw up, um, got her a glass of water. Comforted her a little bit, and then I went ahead and tied her up, and then uh, put a bag, a bag over her head and strangled her. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You know, like anyone would do. Really. You know that that really wasn't all that weird, except for tying the door shut for the kids. Uh, but but that whole thing, like yeah, she got sick, got her some water, comforted her. Oh yeah. Then I put a plastic bag over her head and choked her. Yeah, but she wasn't thirsty. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this guy should just be fucking oh. stabbed in the neck and opened up to the stomach. We're a schizo show. Oh, we got to go okay. to TV real fast. It would be a purple one just to indicate to people coming to the beach that there's possibly dangerous marine animals in the area. But back to Craig Hutto, one of the doctors today was talking about his condition very optimistically. Oh, yeah. Probably in the hospital here a matter of weeks. Uh, They've closed the beaches, right? In that those area? beaches will stay open. It's the 4th of July. But they closed the beaches. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> it's just like the movie Jaws. 4th of July. <laughs> All right, well. If I want those little vandals hung up by their Buster Browns. Everyone doing his, uh, everyone's doing their shark attack. Uh, oh. The beach will open. It's supposed to open at midday today. We expect there will oh. be greater patrols both here on the beach, but also from the air. I mean, after all, Betty, this is the second shark attack in just a number of days. Seen as Adora Udoji. Thank you. Meanwhile, autopsy Meanwhile. results are in on the 14 year old girl killed. All right. Autopsy results. Autopsy. Well, you need an autopsy. The shark bit her leg off. Yeah. We oh, autopsy the shame. torso. I mean, they, they, she's dead. They always take the pretty ones. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That a shame. Anyway. It might sound awful, but it's just not as sad when an ugly person is eaten. Yeah, that's sad. She was kind of cute. Yeah. And you get an ugly person eating, you're like, oh, well. That worked out. You guys yeah. want to hear Sharks got to eat. <laughs> want to hear the same clip, the BTK audio, uh, with um, Jaws music or, or uh, do you got the Shining music? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Shining music. <laughs> it's just our little examples we like doing every now and then on how music really affects what you're listening to. All right, so that, here's the same audio with the Shining uh, music. Hit that first proceeded to tie the kids up and they started crying and got real upset so I said oh this is not going to work so we moved them to the bathroom she helped me and then I tied the door shut we put some toys and uh, blankets and odds and ends in there for the kids make them as comfortable as we could tied the, uh, we uh, tied one of the bathroom doors shut so they couldn't open it and we shoved she went back and helped me shove the bed up against the other bathroom door and then I proceeded to uh, tie her up uh, she got sick threw up Got her a glass of water, comforted her a little bit, and then I went ahead and tied her up and then uh, put a bag, a bag over her head and strangled her. Yeah. It's creepy. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. It's a yeah. little creepier. A little creepy, With right? the music. How to make that funny. Yeah. <laughs> How do you possibly make it funny? Well, I'm going to try, Jim. It's funny you uh, should say that. How about we do it this way? Gets a different feel when you put a different uh, soundtrack to it, right? All right. Let me start the audio first, and then you start Benny the music. music. <laughs> Proceeded to tie the kids up, and he started crying, and got real upset. So I said, oh, this is not going to work. So we moved into the bathroom. Fun now. She helped me, and then I tied the door shut. We put some toys and uh, blankets and odds and ends in there for the kids. 
making us comfortable we could fight the uh we uh, tied one of the bathroom doors shut so they couldn't open it, and we shoved, she went back and helped to shove the bed up against the other bathroom door. And then I proceeded to uh, tie her up, and she got sick, threw up, uh, got her a glass of water, comforted her a little bit, and then went ahead and tied it up, and then uh, put a bag, a bag over her head and strangled her. Yeah. That didn't sound so bad. <laughs> That sounded fun. It sounded speeded up. Speed and fast motion yeah. with a little bald guy running around. <laughs> Being tapped on the head. Being tapped on the head and some big busty blonde. Wade fishing. And oh. when you fish oh, and there's sharks around, the activity of the fishing as well as the, the smell in the water and so on can attract their attention. It's all so, about the sharks today. You know, in the yeah. second case, the shark may have been going for the, the fish. Who knows? But um, this is something that we recommend against. Okay, we have a graphic that we want to put up that talks oh. about some of the steps that you can take oh, when boy. in the water <laughs> to avoid a shark is. attack. One is, you mentioned, don't go too far offshore. Right. Avoid schools, abate fish, avoid areas where people are fishing. <laughs> That's why I like this one, though. In schools of bait fishing. fish. Yeah. Um, with a, I think with it's a Rolex on. Don't wear shiny jewelry or <laughs> highly contrasting colors. Why is that? Well, you have to sort of think like a shark. It, right. What they're ah. looking for, they're not looking for people. They're looking for yeah. typically fish that. I like that wearing big earrings made of lures. Shine. Fishing <laughs> lures. <laughs> That's <laughs> fun, <laughs> too. They so flutter and yeah. yeah. like to the swim around with a bag of blood and just pour it in the water. Yeah. 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 Is that, is that bad? It's fun. Head, but it's thinking, well, I wonder what that is over there. Let me go investigate. The whole idea is. Why don't they have the balls to say on CNN? And if you're having your period, you might not want to go swimming. Robert, we thank you for your time and your insight today. I yeah. actually, uh, it's my easier pleasure. for me to swim when I staple uh, strip stakes to my flippers. I am. And so you know I do what? that. Should I avoid that? The gasoline pain may be around for quite some while. Uh, we'll have that was those a worthless details. interview she just did. That's a, that's More nothing with this shark. I thought CNN Find me was another supposed one, to be Eric. the serious they're garbage. Garbage. No. They have to It's pit. all about scaring you. Well, they know they're losing to Fox News, and now they're like, oh boy, we got to start uh, you know, getting more sensational here. Fox News, American sharks off the coast of America. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back to the BTK confession audio. Uh, the, uh, I don't know how to exactly say that. I had many, what I call them projects. There were different people in the town that I followed, watched. Uh, Captain Bright was one of the next targets, I guess, as I would indicate. How did you select her? Uh, just driving by one day, and I saw her go in the house with somebody else, and Lucky gal. I thought that's a possibility. There was many, many places in the area, um, College Hill, they're all over Wichita, but anyway, that's, it just was basically a selection process, work toward it. If it didn't work, I just move on to something else. But in the, in the, my kind of person, it's stalking and scrolling, you go through the uh, trolling stage and then the stalking stage, she was in the stalking What's stage. The between trolling and uh, stalking? All right, sir. So you identified Catherine Bright as a potential victim. Yes, sir. Stalking and trolling. Yeah. What is the difference? I'm gonna guess. Jimmy, that Jim, you would know about yeah. this. <laughs> My guess would be that stalking is more specific with one with a person, and trolling is probably more random looking around. Oh, just so you're trolling. trolling. You're looking. Trolling. For you're someone. looking for a stalky. Yes. Right. Right. Jim's an expert on serial killers, in a way. Yeah, we, we, we like do, reading about the serial I, killers. I do because there's an interesting part. We're all interested in the psyche of, the, of a, of a madman. Right. But a guy like this should just be. Ex he is just a piece of shit. He's enjoying this a little too much. I think he obviously likes the notoriety. He came out he of the celebrity yeah. of it. He loves it, yeah. and he, the way he's talking about it is like. It, he's almost doing it like he knows what people want to hear from him. Yeah. The descriptions. Yeah. This guy should not be given the time of day and just an axe right through his head. We're just, we're just opened up with a knife and, uh, and just no glory for this fuck. Yeah. He killed a mother and a children. He hung the kids. Like, just execute him. Yeah. Execute him. And he's talking about it all in the specifics and uh, very technical. Yes, and then the I scary thing is, is how calm he was about it and how organized and how it really it came down to like his, you know, he, he he's not some. It's like the narcissism that finally did him in, right? Yeah. It was just, mm -hmm. I mean, he was all he was he got away with it. Yep. Yeah, he was totally and got away with it. They never would have caught him. And he was like, you know what? I'd love to get, I'd love to get on one of those celebrity dance shows. And <laughs> if, <laughs> if if I came out, I could probably be on dancing one. <laughs> I could get on celebrity dance, maybe celebrity <laughs> trades. Uh, 
Maybe celebrity poker. Uh, yeah, you know. celebrity poker. Yeah. Sure, he could play that. There's an angle we haven't thought of. All oh, that that's, that's happening funny. nowadays, yeah. You know, and I want to bring you back out into the public. And then it would be like, oh gosh, he's at that club, and you know, I really, you know, I thought it was really interesting some of his work. You know, he was a serial killer, but yeah. you know, it was really interesting. I was on the plane, and I was uh, upgraded in first class. BTK was next to me, <laughs> and uh, he was. It, you know, it's. I feel guilty saying that though, because it is such a tragedy of what this. You know this animal did, you know, but yeah, you know we. I mean, it is fascinating, but we as a society were kind of like, how much of a scumbag was he? Ooh, interesting. Did yeah. he do a a porno film or anything too? <laughs> did he do anything <laughs> creepy? I mean, besides murdering people, <laughs> right. murdering children, did he do anything? Did he have any strange habits? What did he eat? Did he like ho hos? Yeah, we that love it. We We're going to find all up. that out in the coming days. You watch. We eat it up. You watch. All right. Want to hear more audio? You yeah. bet. What did you do then here in Sudbury County? Um, on this particular day, yes. uh, I broke into the house and waited for her to come home. How did you break into the house? Uh, through the back door on the east side. All right. And you waited for her to come home. Where yes, did sir. you wait? Uh, in the house there, probably close to the bedroom. I walked to the house and uh, kind of figured out where I'd be if they came through. Um, All right. What happened then? Uh, she and uh, Kevin uh, Bright came in. I uh, wasn't expecting him to be there. Um, and come to find out, I guess they were related. Uh, that time I uh, approached him and told him I was wanted in California. Uh, needed some car. Ba basically the same thing that I told the Turtles. Uh, kind of ease them, make them feel better, and proceeded to. I think I had him tie. I think I had him tie her up first. What did he have as oh. far as a fucking you know, weapon goes? Gun. He had a gun. He had a gun. Sure. He had a gun. And so he he essentially tricked these people into thinking that he was just going to tie them up and leave and, and take, take their, their car. car and leave. And so he tied them up and. Oh my god. What a fuck. Oh god. You just want to split his head open. I mean, it's one thing to be you know a murderer, but to be dishonest. That is wrong. Because <laughs> yeah, not only you know do they have I mean? him on murder, but they have him on like breaking and entry and trespassing. He's a, a liar. And lying. And yeah. lying, which is not nice, which is wrong. Because, you know. That's funny. It's the bait and switch. <laughs> awful man. And he uh, he was, was he the dog catcher? Is this the same murderer? Yep. There's yeah. so many murderers out there. I, uh... And you know something? He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that would say that and then kill you. It's like, all right, this guy looks like... Oh, yeah, you totally would think, like, oh, this car. guy had a string of bad luck. He needs the yeah. car. Very calm. He's not like an irrational guy running around all crazy. So, eh, do what he says. We'll get through this. No. Oh, he started sending letters to the paper again last year. Yeah. And, and they traced the diskette back to his church. That's how they... He didn't actually confess. They got him... Because he needed was more he attention. A, was he, like, a bishop or something, like, uh, in this church or... A, you know, like a, a head of the church thing. I thought I saw that on Cold Case Files. Cold Case Files. <laughs> I'm, I'm Bill Curtis. Uh, <laughs> we'll do more on the BTK murders. No, I think he was like a church elder. Like he was one of the, the guys church that... Elder? Was, what what church elder? I don't know the word. He was the part hood. of the I crucible. Saw the, I saw the... <laughs> I saw the crucible. I saw the village coven. <laughs> I saw the village too, Jim. Jesus. <laughs> Church elders. <laughs> Church elders. <laughs> he was Amish. <laughs> Man was meant to fly. He'd have wings. <laughs> Church elder. All right, let's get uh, through the rest stone of Stone him. <laughs> Church elders. Let's get through the rest of this clip here. And then I tied him up or vice versa. I don't remember right now. But now let, let me ask. You indicated you had some uh, items to tie these people with. Did you bring these items, both the Oteros and the this location? The Oteros I did. Uh, I'm not really sure on the brights. Um, there was some, I, when I am working with the police, there was some controversy on that. Probably more likely I did, but uh, if, if I had brought my stuff and used my stuff, uh, Kevin would probably be dead today. I'm not bragging on that, it's just a matter of fact. It's the bonds I've uh, tied him up with, it, he broke them, so. And that, uh, Right. And maybe same way with the uh, same way with Catherine. It was I got out of got out of hand. Got out of hand. Well, that happens. 
He's so calm. It's like you think he's just about to say, and I would love it if Robert Duvall would play me in the movie. <laughs> uh, someone of that caliber. Uh, I know that we, you could lean towards Jason Alexander, but I'd appreciate it if you would really keep it kind of... Uh, <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Anthony in Queens. Anthony. Hey, man. What's going on, guys? Hey, buddy. Listen, I don't know if you guys have ever heard uh, about the Iceman from New Jersey. He was a hitman for the Mafia. Yeah, Kuklinski, Richard Kuklinski. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you guys get any clips from that uh, thing he did on HBO. It was like an hour-long documentary of him just basically recounting just about every murder he ever committed. But, dude, this, at least Kuklinski was a guy who I think he was a murder-for-hire guy. Um, and these were guys who were like, you know, I guess, you know, got mixed up in the rackets. You know, these were guys who weren't like, you know, a mother and her children. Kuklinski was killing, I think, for money. And, you know, it was, you know, you got oh, this... Oh. He was, he was definitely uh, killing for money, but he was a family man. He had a wife and kids who had no idea what he did for a living. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah this I mean, is creepy. Was, this guy was just pulled creepy. up at a stop sign, asked him a direction just to see if his crossbow would work, and shot the guy in the head. Hmm. All right. Who did? Kuklinski. But he was more ethical. Yeah. He was more ethical? He was I'm genuinely sure. lost. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. Let's go uh, to Nat in Massachusetts. Nat. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. I was going to say, where's our, where's our guy from Max Rex here to do some compliment with this audio? Okay, these people got tricked out of their car, signed up, and strangled by the BCK killer. All right. <laughs> on Max Rex. <laughs> I hate that guy. You ever watch that show, Maximum Exposure? It's one of those video shows. Where they just oh, show awful videos. <laughs> yeah. But this guy's like voiceover is so yeah. inappropriate. Yeah, do we wow, this head? cop takes a bullet to the head. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. In Japan, they hate to fall, you know, have bricks fall on their head. <laughs> yeah. Ow, Wang, that had to hurt. <laughs> Coming up on this filler show. Uh, <laughs> it's the war, because at least with the older video shows, uh, with, with tragedies, it would be a very somber guy. Yeah. You know, and then. Tragedy struck as the boat came out of the water, flipped over three times, killing the pilot of this uh, speed craft. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Yeah. Wow, water's like concrete when you hit it at 200 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, that's gnarly. I don't think the guy uh, like coming apart on the water was thinking gnarly. <laughs> you know? Cool. Yeah. This cool clip comes from Oklahoma. This skydiver's chute doesn't open. Wow! Look at him fall! Over 200 miles an hour! Turns into a human pancake! No, don't have a... All right. No love. No worries. Let's go back to the audio of the BTK killer here. All right, now you indicated that you believe you had Kevin Todd Catherine up. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. Okay. I moved... Uh, well, after... I really can't remember, Judge, whether I had her tie him up or she tied him up. But anyway, I moved. Basically, I moved her to another bedroom, and he was already secure there by the bed. Uh, I tied his feet to the uh, bedpost, the bottom bedpost, so he couldn't run. Uh, kind of tied her in the other bedroom, and I came back to strangle him. Oh. And at that time, we had a fight. Were you armed with a handgun at that time? Yes, also? I had a handgun. What happened when you I came actually back? had two handguns. Uh, well, when I started strangling, the, either the uh, parent broke or he broke his bonds and he jumped up real quick like. I pulled my gun and quickly shot him. I hit him in the head. He fell over. Uh, I could see the blood. And as far as I concerned, you know, I thought he was down and uh, was out. And then went and uh, started to strangle uh, uh, Catherine. Or Catherine. Oh. And uh, then we started fighting because uh, bonds weren't very good. And so... Back and forth, we fought. Uh, you and Catherine? Yeah, we fought. Uh, and I got the best of her, and I thought she was going down, and then I could hear some movement in the other room. So I went back, and Kevin, uh, no, no, I thought she was going down, and I went back to the other bedroom where Kevin was at, and I tried to restrangle him at that time, and he jumped up, and we fought, and, uh, and he about at that time about shot me because he got the other uh, pistol that was in my shoulder here. I have a magnum in my shoulder. So, in a really I... Hmm? Do you have it in the shoulder holster? Yes, and I have a magnum in my shoulder holster. The other one was a 22. And we fought at that point in time, and uh, I thought it was going to go off. I jammed the gun, stuck my finger in, the, in there, jammed it, 
And uh, I think he thought that was the only guy I had because once I either bit his finger or hit him or something got away, and I used the 22 and shot him one more time. And I thought he was down for good at that time. Ugh. I fucking, I really hate this guy. Yeah. I oh. really hate this attention needing yeah. scumbag. Oh. I hope he's killed in prison. Why do they protect people like this? Like, it, in prison. You know, in prison. And, and the, yeah. no, they'll put, you know, event, sometimes things happen, but, you know, they'll put him in solitary. When, when he's in court, they bring him in with a bulletproof vest and all the security and mm. stuff. Why not just let. Let family members at this guy. The bats. I mean, he's confessing. It's not like it's a you know wrongfully charged and it's going to be this injustice and stuff. I mean, she, this guy is an animal. He did it. Well, th here's something I don't tying understand. up people and and you know strangling them and shooting them. What I don't understand is like you know he goes home after this and his wife was like, honey, how was your jog? Yeah. I mean, what goes on? You know. It's yeah. Like, how do you go? Hey, would home you get all the scratches all over your face from? Right. You know or. Yeah, what kind of dopey ass wife doesn't see that this guy is doing this for that many years? I mean, he's so distant. Like, does she watch Oprah and go, you know, maybe I could connect with him this way? Uh, maybe we should just have a. We need a weekend. No, I'm a serial killer. You know. No, you know what? I was watching Oprah, and if we put flower petals on our bed. <laughs> no, I do feel you know there is some responsibility that the. But then again, maybe the spouse had no idea. Obviously. But like you said, he's coming home with scratches. You yeah, have there, a fight I mean, for your life of, with that two kind people. Of fight, yeah, that kind of fight. He must have. Uh, he must have had some bruises yeah. and stuff like that. And I mean, uh, but he was a dog catcher. All right? right, he could say the dog did it. Does God he, damn. Does he go yeah. to his son's little league game on the weekend? Go, Johnny. <laughs> right. Come on. Hey, uh, choke need... up on that bat. I, I choke that bat or. Just choke something. That would be hard to be his kid. I mean, it'd be like. So, is there any weird thing in your family? No, I mean, my dad was BTK, but you know, that's just like one generation away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Tom has a really good line here. Go ahead, Tom. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Hey, I know I know a little bit about the history of psychiatry, and yeah. all this guy needs is some vitamins and a good workout. He'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll How about right. that one, Tom Cruise? Watch now, guys. That's all he needs is vitamins we and, do have and a to treadmill. We do study this guy. I mean, it's we, we should figure out something. Like, I don't know. Can we? This guy is claiming that uh, he met the BTK killer. John in Oklahoma. Yeah, what's going on, O and A? What's up? Oh, I actually met this guy a couple of years ago. I'm an overroad trucker. I lost my dog up there at the Park City truck stop. And he took off, and this asshole had captured him. I had to go over there and pay a fine, pick my dog up, but I met the guy. Wait, Man. so uh, all right, so your dog was loose, and he's the dog catcher, or whatever. So he picked him up, and uh, and then you had to go uh, get him out of jail, basically, the dog. Right. And you met him. I met him in person. I, you know, that was like two years ago. He seemed normal as anybody else. Wow. What what town? What state? Kansas, Park City, Kansas, just north of Wichita there. And how long ago was it? About two years ago. So when he was caught and you saw him on TV, you were like, that's the guy that I had to pay to get no, my I dog back. I didn't even really think about it until they told me. You know, uh, I've seen so many people, I never put it together. But then when I got to really looking at the guy's face and thinking about it, I was like, that's that asshole. I had to go get my dog back from him. cost me like 90 bucks to get my dog back. Glad that's the point you stress. This guy killed children, and it cost me $90 on top of that. $90. Now I am outraged. That's what he's incensed about. <laughs> but this guy was also a deacon in the church. In yeah, that's it. Kansas. A deacon. Yeah, that's a scary word, deacon. A deacon. Well, All right, thank anyway, you. Anyway, punch it out, guys. Thank you, John. Michael from Denver is saying, man, the BTK killer sure does make uh, one of my people stealing a SkyFi uh, and some change not seem all that bad. Good point. Score one for the brothers. You really don't hear black guys talking like this. You really no, don't. They no. commit crimes, but you don't hear any black guys speaking hey, this. Hey, let's not forget the dude in Atlanta. All the right, sniper. let's all calm down. Wayne Williams is a sniper, absolutely. But there's yeah. Wayne Williams was a rare example. But the snipers, that's an impersonal crime. This is a, a, a yeah. calculated Choking. strangle a woman with her yeah. children. That was a random just. Yeah, this shoot is definitely middle-aged white guy uh, crimes. This is like crazy. Well, if he's a deacon, he's going to church every Sunday, probably twice a week. 
hearing like all this stuff and it's just it's just not penetrating any of the uh, message there's just this this want and need to do these evil things that he couldn't overcome what the hell do you do like how can you have such passion to do this stuff and lead any kind of a normal life and why do you why are you smart enough to not get caught for all those years and then you fucking send a, a, a diskette that can be traced back to your church. What do you think? That they don't know how to do things once you erase oh, them? Oh, you want to get caught. That's I think obvious. so, too. <clears throat> there was time. He just needed to get caught. Uh, we got uh, some audio of Maxim Max guy. Oh, really? Yeah, just a quickie here. South End Flow's aiming to break the world record for bike jumping. In Apple Valley, California, he's trying to practice jump at 230 feet. He hits the throttle. Looking good. Ooh, looking bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Let's see in slow mo. <laughs> let's see, let's <laughs> see in slow mo. Let's go to super slow mo. Isn't that great, Jim? Oh, what a tool. That is classic. <laughs> How does that guy sleep at night? Just people's <laughs> tragedies, people's life tragedies, and he. I just joke about. It. Oh wait, that's what we do. <laughs> When he hits the ground, he smashes the handlebars with his face. <laughs> they shatter his goggles and his forehead crumbles. Where you going, Jim? He's got to take oh, a leak. Okay. Jimmy's little bladder, his little hummingbird bladder, he's sucked up too much nectar out of a daisy, and he's got to take a leak. Oh, right. Little Jimmy's little peanut bladder. Oh, we have a new teaser from Max X Guy. Those are old. Smashed his face on the handlebars. Come on. That's got to hurt. Let's play one more here. Max X, shake it off. And don't be a wuss. Coming up, if you're happy and you know it, smash your head. It's only funny till somebody loses a finger. Then it's friggin' hysterical. <laughs> BMX Guy jumps 10 feet on an 11 foot ramp. Ow! Be the first dude on your block with the official Max X Blood Goatee. Here's how to order. Blood Goatee. Parachute Guy upgrades from the cheap seats to field level. Sweet. Some folks are born double jointed, and some of them are made that way. Oh, man. Oh, you know, that was bad. Yeah. You know, there's probably people that, like, me. Cause that can't be his real voice, right? Can't be. He's kind of exaggerating, you know, like. People probably meet him at some party. Like, so what do you do? He goes, I work on the show Max S. And they're, and they're like, oh, I don't know what it's like. He goes, you got to watch it. And then you watch it, and they're like, oh, my God. It's horrible. <laughs> I do the voiceover work I, for Max I can S. improvise some of this stuff. We get that same thing, Jim. You just <laughs> described our lives. Like, people have no idea what we do. What do you do? <laughs> uh, I do this radio show. Well, what do you, what do you talk about? Ah, uh, pop culture, politics sometimes, you know, that type of thing. And then you run into them a couple <laughs> weeks later, like, I listen to your show. <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, wow. This guy's impaled on a fence. <laughs> oh, just the most awful things that happen, and he makes it sound like fun. All right, let's go back to the BTK audio here. Talking about stabbing a woman in this clip. All right, so you shot him a second time. Yes, sir. I'll what that. happened then? Uh, went back to uh, uh, finish the job on Catherine, and uh, she was fighting. Uh, and at, at that point in time, I've been fighting her. I just, and then I heard some, I don't know whether I uh, was loose, basically losing control. The uh, strangulation wasn't working on her, and I uh, used a knife on her. You say you used a knife on yeah. her. Yes. What did you do with the knife? I stabbed her. Uh, she said you stabbed two or three times, uh, either here or here. Maybe two back here and one here, or maybe just two times back and here. You were pointing to your lower back and your, your... Yeah, underneath the ribs. And your lower abdomen. Yeah, underneath the ribs, up, up underneath the ribs. So after you stabbed her, what happened? Uh, Actually, I think at that point in time, well, it's a total mess. I didn't have control on it. Uh, she was bleeding. Uh, she went down. Uh, He's complaining. I think I just went back to check mess. on Kevin, or at that basically same time I heard him escape. It could be one of the two. But all of a sudden the front door of the house was open and he that was guy's gone. guy's badass. And two shots. Or, oh, I'll tell you what I thought. I thought the police were coming at that time. I heard the door open. I thought, no, that's it. And I stepped out there. 
and he I could see him running down the street, so I quickly cleaned up everything that I could and left. Wow. He's being he's on TV right now. Yeah, murders came before Kansas uh, reinstated death penalty. Oh, great. Another technicality. And what uh, happened to that guy? He ran out of the house? With he lived, in his he head? survived. The brother survived. He did. He did? Wow. That's something. Well, 22. And uh, I wonder what the people are saying today that are against the death penalty. Good. Yeah. No, no, you can't change their fucking stupid minds. I know. I they, know. Will, they don't care. Stupid, stupid minds. They don't care. It's cruel and unusual, yeah. guys. <laughs> He deserve. Believe me, he deserves to spend the rest of his life in prison with yeah, no this, chance of this parole, guy but has not the no death conscience. penalty. Yeah, none. None. So he can think about what he did. He's yeah. just sitting there going, "How can I get on that surreal world?" I <laughs> like that show. Me, Peter Brady, <laughs> <laughs> Mini Me. Yeah, I can picture it now. Does he talk about the Otero murder at all? The family. Uh, that yeah, that's the ne that's the next really one. Really yeah. sick. You want to get into this one? Yeah. This one is really sick. You're against the death penalty. Listen to this one. And then I went over and uh, put a uh, and then uh, put a bag on uh, uh, Junior's head, and uh, and then uh, if I remember right, uh, Mrs. O'Carroll came back. Uh, she came back and. Uh, Sir, let me ask you about Joseph O'Carroll Sr. He indicated he had torn a hole in the bag. Mm -hmm. and what did you do with him then? I put another bag over it, or either that or a, if I recollect, I think I put a uh, either a cloth or a T-shirt or something over it, over his head, and then a bag, another bag. And did, then he him. did he subsequently die? Well, yes. I mean, I, I mean, I was, I didn't just stay there and watch him. That I was yeah, that would be room. crazy. But, yeah, I'm not a weirdo. So you indicated you strangled Mrs. Otero after you had done this. Is that correct? Now I went back and strangled her again, and that, and that, that finally killed her. Okay. You're really bad at so strangling. This is in regards to count two. You the underachiever. First of all, put the bag not over Joseph Otero's bag. head, oh. mm -hmm. and he tore a hole in the bag. Mm -hmm. Then you went ahead. Did you strangle Mrs. Otero then, okay. or did you go first back? Of all, first of all, Mr. Otero was strangled, or a bag put over his head and strangled. Then I thought he was going down. Going down. And I went over and strangled Mrs. Otero, and I thought she was down. Then I strangled uh, uh, Josephine, thought she was down. And then I went over to Junior and put the bag on his head. Oof. Oof. Why does he breathe? I just hope he's killed in jail like Dahmer was. That's, you just gotta hope that some other Good convict way. just bludgeoned. murders him. Blu in a bad way. Yeah. In a way that isn't quick. Just bludgeoned about the face. Now, now when someone like this, when he eventually dies, do they do an, Do they go, we gotta check out this brain? Do yeah, they, they did there that and they to go Dahmer, in? didn't they? They took Dahmer's brain out and Did they find out, anything unusual with Dahmer's brain? Eh, they found it was a different size or something. <laughs> It's an alien brain. Yeah, let's uh, let's say hi to Rich in New Jersey. Rich, what's up? Hey, I think we should send that guy down to Florida with some vitamins, and some steaks tied to his feet, and send him after those sharks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just trying to stop trying to tie news stories together, Leno. Vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> You hear about this? The uh, st uh, steaks on the feed with the. <laughs> By the way, uh, Jim Gaffigan in studio. He's playing the Comedy Connection in Boston all this weekend. So go to jimgaffigan.com. Yeah, you I got all your tour there. dates there, right? Yeah, word is bond. And videos. Okay, we got uh, him talking about sexual fantasies in this clip. After that, Mrs. Otero woke back up, and uh, you know she was pretty upset. What's going on? So I came back, and uh, at that point in time, strangled her. Uh, for for the death strangle at that time. With your hand or what? No, with a cord, with a with a rope. And uh, then I uh, I think at that point in time I redid Mr. Otero, put the bag over his head, uh, went over and then took Junior. Oh, oh, before that she asked me to uh, to, to, to uh, save her son, so I actually had taken the bag off, and then I was really upset at that point in time. So but basically. When Mr. Carroll was down, Mrs. O'Carroll was down, I went ahead and, and uh, took uh, ju uh, Junior, I put another bag over his head and took him to the other bedroom at that what, time. What did you do then? Uh, put a bag over his head, I put a, a cloth over his head, a t-shirt and a bag so he couldn't tear a hole in it. And 
he like died from that. And then when I went back, uh, Josephine had woke back up. What did you do then? And I took her to the basement and eventually uh, hung her. Are you hung her in the basement? Yes, sir. Did you do anything else at that time? Yes, I, uh, I had some sexual fantasies. But that was uh, after she was hung. Wow. This guy's not going to make it a week in jail. Wow. No, they'll protect the shit out of him, though. They'll put him in uh, in solitary yeah, but, but, and you know, they, guard they were, him. They were supposedly protecting Domer, but the 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 guards. Mm-hmm. I mean, they have you know they're kind of like going, oh hey, uh, I'm actually going to lunch the same time you're going to lunch. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened with Domer, yeah. right? Well, no, he was in a bathroom doing a, a mop detail, and I heard it was over cutting somebody in line. It was over some yeah, prison it wasn't disc. even really. The, oh, yeah, really? it was a prison disc. It wasn't even like the, that. Somebody was upset with what he did. Yeah, but well, it may have been that combined. I don't know. Isn't there something about killing children though? That that's oh, like a death that. wish. Yeah, that's a death wish in, in prison. Jail? Yep, you would know, Jim. Yeah, well, like, supposedly hope. they don't like that, but who knows. I mean, uh, look at all these guys that are still alive. I mean, and Ted I Bundy. Know, that's well, just he, it. They're still alive. You know? Bundy's dead, but I mean, he wasn't killed in jail. He mm-hmm. smothered an 11 or 12 year old in the mud uh, and, and raped her. I mean, they're all fucking just barbarians. This guy should really just be executed. How can anybody listen to this and be against the death penalty? I know. How can anybody, for a guy like this who is confessing that he just hung an 11 year old and jerked off, yeah. how can you not think that we as a society have the right to kill him? Mm-hmm. This guy. Absolutely deserves to be killed. Doesn't prevent it. It doesn't help with statistics. It is just vengeance. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. And there I know it's more expensive to kill him. We Shut don't up. care. Which I don't believe anyway. I mean, maybe it technically it might be right once you exhaust appeals. I don't care. We have enough money. Fine. Stop forgiving debts. How about that? One debt you don't forgive in some shit country for doing us a little favor. Mm-hmm. How about that? All that money. There you go. You kill people with it. Let's go to Attica. This guy's claiming that he's uh, an inmate. Ray? Yeah, with I mean, satellite radio? You get the satellite radio in uh, Attica? A lot radio? What? A lot radio? Satellite radio? Hey, she's got this little contraption she lets me listen to. Who's she? I'm one of the workers here. Okay. Why are you in Attica? What I mean, why am I in here? Yeah. That's not what I'm calling about. I know, I just want to know. It's just, we'd like to get to know our listeners a little bit. Oh, uh, 73, uh, my, uh, my, off my wife and her lover, her boyfriend. Got sent down for a little while. A little while? 73, you said, right? Yeah. 32 years ago? Yep. Wow. All right, and you're listening to XM in Attica. What is it? XM Satellite Radio? I guess that's what it is. This little thing she wakes, she wears, she comes in. I mean, it's a MiFi. And she lets you. And she lets you. A MiFi. Yeah, you can't tune it in on the radio. It's something else. What is it? (laughs) A portable unit that that she's wearing, right? Yeah, she got this thing she's got on her waist. Okay. And she lets you uh, listen in sometimes. Once in a while, yeah. Okay. So what's going on there, uh, Ray? I I, I was I was kind of picking up there on that uh, that guy out in Kansas, dude. Did all them killings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a way, I think it's kind of cool, actually, the way he's being so. uh, you know, up and coming with what he did, how he did it. A lot of insight into into this this animal, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, he's just doing it for attention, though, man. He's not doing it to be helpful or to alleviate the the wondering of victims' families. He's just doing it to, to kind of brag. Some of these guys like to brag. Yeah, he's got a little bit of that in his voice. But what I'm saying is he's given details, specific details, that could lead to... You know, a little bit of insight into what, you know, how these people set themselves up to be killed like this. They set That's themselves up see. coming home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these idiots. Yeah, something like that. Guns. Guns. Just yeah. buy guns, everyone. Arm the nation. Hey, uh, Ray, you regret uh, killing your wife there? Oh, yeah, it's just five minutes after I did it, man. Jesus. How long are you in for? Are you ever going to get out? Uh, well, I had an opportunity to get out, but, uh... uh I uh, got somebody else right here in prison, relieved them of their oxygen one day. Fucked you, it with me, you know what I mean? You killed a guy in prison? Well, he was screwing around with me. I couldn't take it no more. What was he doing to you? Uh, he's fucking with my food and keeping me awake at night. I'm calling shenanigans. Yes, yeah, so I had a chance of parole, guy. but uh, I'm going to be here a while. All right, enjoy anyway, your I stay. Anyway, I got to go. I don't want to get, you know, I yeah. want to yeah. tie up your show. And I just said... Uh, Where'd you, get the num- hey, dude, where'd you get the number? What? Where'd you find our phone number? 
Well, it's right here. She gave it. She wrote it down. It's right here on this display. I don't know if I'm yeah. buying it. I don't know. I, I call shenanigans, fan. dude. Come on, fess up. Where are you? Do what? Fess up. Where are you really? You're lying. We know it. I'm um, what? We don't believe you. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool, too, you know. Wait, let's talk to the woman. All right, just a minute. Where is he that he's with a woman? Talk to this guy. He's a murderer. He's a... You don't believe him. Talk to him. Where is he got a phone? This guy's full of shit. Well? Yeah. Show her talk to him. Dude, what, what phone are you using? Huh? What phone are you using, Mr. Huh, every time? It's the one out in there. Mr. Who every time? What phone are you using? Oh, it's out in the hallway here. The hallway. You just able to walk around? Oh, yeah. Where I work, I can. I don't believe we'll be in the hospital. What's the zip code of where you are? What's the zip code of where I'm at? Yep. It is, uh, begins with a one. <laughs> all right, Jim Gaffigan is going to gotcha. be at the Comedy Connection in Boston all this weekend. Go to Jim, 